Hi, I'm Eric Johnson, Dean of Vanderbilt's Owen Graduate School of Management. And this week we're hosting Informs Healthcare. And it's a conference all about analytics and big data and how it's impacting healthcare. And we've really had a great week here and lots of interesting speakers. And one of them is Ed Hickey. Ed is uh, the Vice President of Data Science at Nava Health. Really great to have you here today, Ed. Hey, thanks, Eric. It's really good to be here. Nava Health is all about the post-acute care challenge. What, what is the challenge in, in post-acute care? So I think one of the biggest challenges is sort of the fragmentation that it has when a patient leaves a hospital and, and is discharged and going for rehabilitative services at a skilled nursing facility or rehab facility and understanding kind of the fluidity of what has happened to the patient previously, what happens as the patient's discharged from those and goes home. Um, and then also when they go home, what, what sort of happens during in that environment. So it's, it's a big misunderstanding of a lot of uh, not knowing things that are happening. All this data and analytics, in the end game, we're trying to reduce costs or improve the quality of care. How, how does that work? How, how can we actually do that in post-acute care? So I think trying to, trying to streamline and bring together all this disparate information and really help the patient um, understand what, what are the needs of the patient, what would be the best setting, what are the best treatment for the patient. So we're bringing together from a clinical perspective that it, it really helps, helps provide the best care for the patient and the best services for them, but it also from a financial aspect. I mean, Medicare is hit very hard every year because of the um, uh, expenditures and the variability that's within the expenditures that are related to post-acute care. So this is an opportunity to kind of really bring the two together and, and optimize everything. So data science, analytics, um, certainly big promise in healthcare. Where do you see the biggest opportunities? So I think it's really with having kind of this complete picture and trying to, to understand again, what, what, are, what are the needs and what would be the best situation for, the pa for a patient and then the care that they're receiving and having uh, the, the clinicians being able to provide the best care and, and, uh, and, and, and using this information to really drive things home. It's such a, a green field of opportunity, a lot of, the uh, data had been, you know, when it, from a hospital side, that's not necessarily shared with the claims information that from these administrative data sets, a lot of the post-acute settings, you know, the, that data is very walled off and from other parts of the world. And then other um, kind of functional based and uh, patient type information that can come into this that actually explains a lot of the, the variation or what, what works or what doesn't work for certain patients. So when people think about Nashville, of course, they often think about country music. Uh, we know it's really healthcare that right. drives the economy here. And even there, people typically think of the really big players like HCA. But one of the things that uh, is so exciting about Nashville right now is just the ecosystem for startups, yeah. uh, particularly in healthcare, and Nava, Nava Health being uh, an example of that. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about Nava Health and its startup experience here? Where are you today? Uh, how old is the company, and what's the ecosystem like? Yeah, it's a few, Nama Health's a few years old, and uh, it, it, we've grown rapidly because there's a huge demand for the service that we're providing. And I think with a lot of startups around Nashville, you find that people have been in other organizations like an HCA or CHS. That, how, how big is Nama Health today? Uh, so right now we have a little over 500 employees, um, and we're across the country, but we're headquartered in, in Brentwood, just outside of Nashville. And uh, um, we have a, uh, you know, it, it's a really exciting place because you really have all these uh, um, startups that are, are addressing, you know, shortcomings or limitations in our healthcare system and how do you do that? And a lot of them are driven data oriented and bringing a lot of the, this information together and um, just around town. It, it's such a unique place and, and you don't see a lot of the, uh, uh, you know, a lot of cross fertilization that you do and across companies. And even though they may have sort of different uh, uh, things that they're doing and focused on, but there's a lot of cross fertilization in terms of, uh, um, you know, sharing approaches, analytic methodologies, how are you doing and warehousing your data? What platform are you using to sort of leverage large amounts of data at one time and, uh, and really try to drive, you know, the business itself and as well in, in our case, you know, the, the care for patients and uh, how we can deliver that in a better way. Well, thanks so much, Ed, for being with us this My week. My pleasure. I appreciate it. Thank you.